All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you what makes a series motor spin forward and reverse and how to switch it back and forth. So this would be our traditional looking motor, uh, DC motor. To switch the direction of the motor, you typically only have two poles and you switch the polarity of it, negative, positive, and it spins the other way. So this is a, uh, an older style reverse switch on a golf cart and they're, they're pretty bulky and complicated looking there. Um, and this is be a, a typical use case for a reverse switch on a series motor. So what changes the direction of the uh, armature spinning on a series motor is not the switching of the polarity on the main uh, posts, positive and negative. So this is typically what you have on a golf cart. You have an A1, A2, S1, S2. And what these stand for is armature one and two, stator one and two. So the stator is the coils around the motor. The armature is the coils on the inside. It's the thing that spins around. And uh, typically there's brushes that rub on that to uh, produce the current in those uh, in that armature. So what happens is the current flows through and uh, we're just going to go say it goes this way. So from positive to negative, it's going to go through from from the stator. It's going to obviously if you hook current to the other end of the motor, it's going to go through the stator. And then, of course, your uh, your jumper wire, if you just have it jumped with a jumper wire, not a reverse switch, it's just going to go to um, the armature and then it's going to go out of the armature. So if this is how you have it hooked up, there's two ways to hook it up. We're going to explain to you um, how that changes the direction of the armature spinning. So it goes through and then it goes through the armature. So you can see here, if we switch the polarity, what happens is we have the current going this way. So just imagine it going this way, this way, this way. And it would not change the direction that the motor is spinning. And the reason is because uh, you have to change not the polarity of the whole system. You have to change the polarity of the fields. So notice how both of these fields on S1, S2, A1, A2, if you look at them, the current going across the field, this would be one field. The armature is one field. The stator is one field. So the current going across them is going the same way. So that causes it to spin a certain way. Now, if we switch the way that this is wired up and instead of jumping it from S1 to A2, we jump it from S2 to A2 and then we run our main positive over here and then it goes, the current in this stator winding goes this way, like we got drawn here. So we hook our main positive I'll draw it here to S1 and it causes the current in the stator to go this way so that it can come over to the armature and then come out. What you have is the current flowing through the stator this way and then the current flowing through the armature that way. So you have to switch the polarity of the fields to get these motors to spin the other way. And the only reason I'm posting this video on YouTube is because I have never seen anybody describe it this way. I've spent tons of time trying to figure this out so that I can hook these golf carts up that have been uh, gutted out and I've never been able to find. I, I, I learned this recently. And I figured I would share it. I'll probably do a video where I explain it with a golf cart and um, hook up the switch so that in a more practical sense, you can see how it's done.